So Marco Andretti will race in the Xfinity Series and at the Roval. Ah, an <laughs> NBC race. Yes, this is good. It's good, but it's so funny that how we got to the Marco Andretti news was. I found it out on the a, internet. A, a very interesting. I went. On, I was at the World Wide Web. <laughs> <laughs> on the line. I was on the line. I was on the line. Yeah, <laughs> dialed up. Yeah. I was dialed up. Checking my AOL. Oh uh, yeah. AOL was our ma our primary means of communication, wasn't it, was. it back in the day? Yeah. That's was. right. That AOL, uh, what was it, Messenger? AIM, Instant Messenger. AIM, AIM Messenger or whatever. That's right. Yeah. AIM. yeah. yeah. Bring so, that Mar back. yeah, I'm excited for Marco. He's done really good in the, uh, what is it, the XRS? Is that saying that right? SRX. SRX. <laughs> I can't never remember what it's called. Um, <laughs> so, he's been good in that thing. And, uh, whoa, won the championship. He did. Yeah. yeah. With so, a broken hand. Yeah, with a broken oh, wrist. Right. Hand. So, Mark, but Marco's going to get a, sh he's, so, the interesting thing to me is I've been texting with Marco for two years. And he's like, hey, man, any opportunity? Uh, let's figure something out. Let's try to make something work. And just couldn't ever really get it done. And so uh, he's got an opportunity to race the big machine car, I think, the number 48. And which is a good car. It's yeah. got RCR affiliation. And, uh, you know, so <clears throat> I uh, can't wait to see how he does. Yeah. I think in a – that car with a reasonable driver – should run 10th to 15th. And so that I go into that race with that in mind, and I'll see how Marco kind of nets out. Mm -hmm. um, the tough part is, is the Roval is a, is a difficult track to learn. He knows a lot of road courses, but he doesn't know the Roval. Yeah. And so not like he would want to know it, right? He knows a lot of other racetracks by the back of his hand, but this place is kind of quirky, funky. Uh, it's a... You know, it's it's what's the, what's the guy with the bolts in his neck? Frankenstein. Yeah, it's kind of like Frankenstein. Frankenstein was not my first thought when I was thinking well, about was what made, to call the Frankenstein Roval. was made from many different things, right? Okay, okay. And he turned out looking pretty weird, right? Yeah, he did. And that's what the Roval is. <laughs> the Frankenstein of, of yeah. racetracks. I'm sorry. Look, man, it the is. Roval puts on some great races, but there's some big moments that happen there. But in terms of like, if you were going to design a road course, yeah, what would Indianapolis would not be the Roval? What would the Indianapolis road course be? Them two, they're like cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Frankenstein's cousin? Come on, quick! Who do, who knows this? <laughs> Is there an actual answer? Yeah, I don't know. No. Oh, I thought there was. Like what a was list. Frankenstein's girlfriend? Lisa, I don't know. No, <laughs> she was also. So he was sad. You know, they made Frankenstein, and he was a uh, lonely. So the guy, you know, the doc, uh, science scientist, what's his name? Doctor Jekyll. I don't think I've ever seen this. I don't Didn't Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, isn't he uh, the one that made Frankenstein? No, that's Dr. Frankenstein two. Made Dr. Frankenstein made Frankenstein. Okay, okay, see? All right, so then they made a, they made a female for him. And it's literally just called the Bride of Frankenstein. The Bride of Frankenstein. So that's uh, Indy's that's the Bride? The, that's the Indy. Who, who's the Bride? <laughs> Indy is. <laughs> Indy is. Indy's the Bride. Yeah, the Roval came first, I think. No. Well, I mean. The, the, for, for the stock cars. Yeah, for the stock cars. Yes, that's true. Yeah, yeah Andy, you're the bride. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have so much debate from our listeners on this one. Yeah. Hey, guys, I'm here to tell you three reasons why I love our sponsor, Tire Pros. Number one, Tire Pros loves cars as much as I do. Number two, they have great service. Number three, they're committed to getting you back out on the road. Plus, they've got this really cool logo. Uh, Dale, that's four reasons. And they have over 600 locations, 24-7 roadside assistance, a great selection, and a best-in-class tire warranty. Tire pros, love the drive.